when, when it comes to hip hop, a lot of people do this bravado thing mm. and they, they don't really like to reveal much of themselves. Right. Right. And I feel like one of the reasons I got an opportunity to get somewhere is because I was okay to do that. I've come to feel that there is more strength in the vulnerability there than people go. realize. And people, people feel that like, if you, if you show your vulnerability, you're showing weakness, but I'm comfortable showing my vulnerability and comfortable speaking openly about my shortcomings. I say I'm comfortable. It feels uncomfortable, like still, but I'm willing to do it. And like, you know, and I think that comes with a bit of maturity and, and knowing yourself and, and knowing your place in the world and how you fit into things and just being like, and, I, and, I, and it's not all neatly sorted out. I'm not happy and comfortable with everything in my life and the way the world is. But I've reached a point of some kind of balance, some kind of acceptance. So I'm just like, yeah, this is it. I just don't want to waste time not talking about the real stuff. Because what are we doing here? As a youngster, getting into hip hop, what hip hop stood for, mm. it was almost a voice for the voiceless. Well, it was a voice for the voiceless, really. And then you've got somebody like you whose background is very different to somebody like me. Yeah. Somebody like any other rappers that are out there, really. Yeah, for right? sure. Yeah. And I remember one, one of my friends saying to me, I want to rap, but what am I going to rap about? I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm, 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 mm. And I said, well, why don't you just rap about that? And he goes, no, nah, I'll, I'll be the laughing stock. <laughs> and I said, try it. Now, he did try it. And what he was writing was decent, but he wasn't just, he wasn't good. And that's the reason why no one ever heard the guy. Right. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying, then you came along. Now, I'm not saying you were born with a silver spoon in your mouth, but mm. you weren't experiencing some of the things we lot were. I'm a middle class kid. I grew up in, in a kind of middle, middle class suburban environment. I was privately educated, you know, so I'm, I'm the, the son of a Nigerian man, an English woman. And my parents kind of worked hard to give me opportunities and to give me a really good education and to grow up in a safe, nurturing environment. So I'm, I'm privileged, you know, and I'm very real about that. And I know what you mean because the, the hip hop community and the culture like doesn't come from that, you know, and, and, and I'm a, um, I have deep appreciation and respect for the culture that, that we're all, you know, uh, that we all love. Um, and so with that respect, I have to acknowledge and understand where it comes from and the fact that I come from a different place, you know. So in some ways, I've always felt like an outsider, you know. And, I, and that thing you said about your friend, what am I going to talk about? What, what am I going to rap about? I've had to ask myself that. But then I also think about, well, does that mean that all rap is about the same thing and all songs are about the same thing? And I mean, I remember listening to um, the first time I heard Eminem, brain damage. These are the results of a thousand electric volts, a neck with bolts, nurse for losing them, check the pulse. I'm like, what is that? Like, what's that about? That's a rap song about him having some kind of, uh, sort of psychotic episode flashback whilst in a kind of emergency room and remembering his experiences being bullied as a kid. Like, okay, some of that is about the rough upbringing he had, but in a weird creative kind of way. And then there's all sorts of other examples of rap songs that you wouldn't expect. There's a song by Homeboy Sandman called Can Goods that is about as far as I understand it, maybe I haven't delved into the deeper layers. It's about canned goods. <laughs> but, but that's the you beauty know? of hip hop, right? Like you should be able to touch on anything. You can speak on anything. And if you're eloquent with it and, you know, and there are certain things that, that people are used to or they're expecting or that, that often play out well. And there's a lot of those that are not really accessible to me. I, if I was to do those, it'd be fake, you know, for me to do it. And I've always was conscious of authenticity being important, you know? And I'm always surprised by how many people are less authentic than I realize, you know? But, but for me in particular, I thought the last thing I want to do is come across as fake or trying to pretend to be something I'm not. 